Arnicadiana is Ali Bear. Welcome back. I'm super excited to check on Al, not check in per se, because he's learning to make crepes from a sixth grader, a very, very talented and smart sixth grader. Her name is Izzy. We send it to Al and Izzy. How'd, how'd the crepe go? Did you circle back? Did you make a new one, Al? It wasn't quite as professional, if you will. So glad you asked, Alex, because mm -hmm. in the interest of full disclosure, right. my crepe kind of fell apart. We saw. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Izzy's grandfather's here. He and I ate it, okay? Because that's what you do with your mistakes. You just eat them. Now, Izzy made another crepe. Brandon, behind the camera, you're going to be excited to hear this, Alex. He made a crepe. Which one's Brandon's crepe? This one. Hey, so how did Brandon do on the crepe? He did pretty good. I say I give him like nine out of ten. He did pretty good. Nine out of ten? Okay, like my crate. What 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 about mine? How much would you <laughs> give me? I'd have to say like for trying ten out of ten. Uh, and all well like flipping, it was folding, so I'd have to give like a seven. A seven. <laughs> okay, well there you go. I got a lot of work to do. Brandon apparently is magical. Uh, so we've got our crepes made. Someone else made them, not me, you and Brandon. So we got strawberries. What do we do here? We're going to cut the strawberries. Okay. So we're going to cut the top off. Okay. And the strawberry. And then we're going to cut it sideways so it's like gotcha. flat. Okay, so you, you thinly slice the strawberries. Yes. Now, could you use anything or do you, or strawberries necessary? I would bet the strawberries are going to go great with the Nutella. Yes. Probably blueberries wouldn't work as well. Have you ever tried that with Nutella? I've never tried it, but I think it would be good. So besides Nutella mm -hmm. and strawberries, have, have you made other kinds of crepes? No. Okay. Just Nutella ones, though. Okay. It's like just plain Nutella, no strawberries? Yep. How's that work? It's still good. It's just not, it's better when you have fruit in it. So we were talking earlier about savory stuff because we're going to come back and cook a lot with Izzy because she's very good. And look at this kitchen. It's a great kitchen to do TV in. It's a magnificent kitchen. Thanks to your dad and mom uh, for letting us in here, especially at 5 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is a great TV kitchen. So when it comes to things that are not desserts, I know you make a good chocolate souffle. When it comes to savory stuff, what do you like to cook? I like to make... I make stuff for my brother all the time because mm -hmm. he asked me to. And he's like, Izzy, make me a sandwich. Izzy, make me this. Izzy, make me that. And I just make simple things. I don't make, like, steaks and stuff like my dad. Gotcha. So, okay. yeah. Well, so we're, we're going we're gonna to find a savory thing to cook. But next time, we got to do the chocolate souffle. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Dan Romano, who can predict the weather. I wish he could have predicted that my crepe was not going to turn out well. But, you know, he's a meteorologist, not a crepeologist. Back to you, Dan. Hey, we don't need to worry about that prediction. I think it was pretty much understood. Uh, 